It's 6.30 in the morning, and Jorge Palacios is already rushing. He can't miss the number seven bus pulling away from the curb at 37th and University in San Diego's Mid-City area. It's only the first of a three-leg journey he takes to get to class at Southwestern College four days a week. The seven takes him to the trolley stop at C and 12th Streets downtown. The trolley takes him south to Chula Vista, where he catches the crowded express bus to campus. If everything works out just right, the trip can take just 45 minutes. Some days, it lasts an hour and a half. Today, he has time to stroll, not sprint, to his 8 a.m. math class. Palacios has a clear idea of where he hopes his long commutes are taking him. Right now, I'm trying to get my associates on EMT paramedic. Uh, I was thinking about maybe later on pursuing a career in medicine. And today is one of the easy days. Palacios only has one class. Some days he has two and a shift to work at Smashburger and Hazard Center, which can be a two hour bus and trolley trip away. And I have to like literally run from here to my classroom to the, to the bus station. Sometimes the bus is there, sometimes not. Even though if you check the schedules and everything, it's like they can, it can just change. Then from, so that's from 12 to 8, and then get back home, but usually it's like from, what, from 6 to 11 to closing. Another long ride home means Palacios often doesn't finish his day until 12.30 or 1 a.m. But if he achieves his goals, it will be in spite of much more than a daunting commute. In 2010, his father passed away, and the stress and grief of his passing eventually tore apart Palacios' relationships with his mother and brother. That just ended up in me um, one day just uh, being, I, don't, I still remember, I was on Fairmont Avenue in, you know, in university with uh, my, my guitar case, but I filled it up with clothes, and I, I was like, I wasn't just in the corner, and I was like, well, what am I supposed to do now? What, what should I do? Where do I go? He was a junior in high school, and he was homeless. He spent that night in a park, and after that relied on friends and teachers for support. It was one, two, three days here, another day there. It was li living like day by day. Aside from a stint staying with an aunt, living day to day is how Palacios has spent much of the last two and a half years. But he says having hope is the only way to weather his situation. I always have this mentality of it could be worse and also the situation can improve. So that always keeps me going. Things are improving. He's now staying with a friend permanently and hopes to save up enough for the first few months' rent in a place of his own. The days of anxiously anticipating when the next bus or trolley might come are also coming to an end. Thanks to San Diego Unified teachers who worked with Palacios while he was a student in the district, he was chosen to get a car through a national program called Recycled Rides. And at the car unveiling a few days later, it's clear his story struck a chord with the technicians and staff who donated time and their own money to get the car ready. I mean, how could we not do this? I mean, this young man's persevering and, and just really, you know, pushing past all the barriers. And, and this one gift will help him. That's Mike Quinn. He heads community relations for Caliber Collision. He says the company gives away one or two cars a month through the Recycled Rides program, but the staff often doesn't feel like the car is enough. There's a lot of associates, a lot of these team members that kicked in money, that reached in their pocket, gave $20 to come up with $1,000 or something like that. Uh, open that up, there's something in there for you. Those personal donations added up to gift cards, cash, and a laptop Palacios finds when he opens the car's trunk. Thank you, guys. During his first test drive, Palacios seems more impressed by the people than the gifts they've given him. It's pretty awesome just to meet all these people that were helping me out a lot, and I didn't even know how their faces looked like. The car will save him time, which Palacios says he'll use to pick up at least one extra course in coming semesters. That could cut a year or more off his time to an associate's degree. And he says he'll feel safer driving than waiting on the trolley platform at midnight after a closing shift. But he says it means even more to him. For me, this is more, more than just a car. It's like, it's like a sign saying that I'm doing things right and that I should keep on going. Now, he'll just be getting there faster. Kyla Calvert, KPBS News.